We're joined by Kevin Reardon, President and CEO of Crexus Investment Corp. Kevin, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me, Alan. Your company went public last year. What was the, uh, why was this a good time to get into the space? Well, Alan, what we did is we looked at the macro environment in terms of uh, financial providers of capital. And number one, we saw that the suppliers of capital were going to be severely constrained. In fact, some of them were clearly out of business. Lehman Brothers no longer existed. Bear Stearns no longer existed. So supply of capital was diminished. On the other side of the equation was the demand for capital. And we have a, a slide that we use in our IPO, which we affectionately call the mountain of debt. And so if you looked at the mountain of debt and you looked at the supply of capital, clearly there was a mismatch. And we were attempting to fill, and what we're doing is filling that void uh, of capital required. And the CMBS market has been pretty much in neutral for the past uh, year or so. When do you see this picking up? The single borrower, more, more simplistic transactions is what the market is accepting right now. I think the market uh, investors are probably a little bit away from looking at commingled, conduit type CMBS product right now, um, given the effects of what happened uh, previously. And some of the federal government financial rescue programs that we've seen take place in the past year or so, what kind of uh, impact have those had on the market? Well, I think the legacy TALF program has been a success for the market. Uh, basically what happened, Alan, is there were a lot of assets out there which had depressed prices. And by TALF coming in and providing financing for the acquisition of some of those securities, it helped raise the price of those securities. And not all those securities of the universe were TALF, if you will. Um, but enough were put into the system to get TALF that it basically raised up all the other boats, if you will. So the legacy TALF program has been successful. There's also been a large movement of money to fixed income, which has also helped the investment prices of the securities. On the new issue side, the TALF program, while it exists out there, it hasn't been used that much. There's a lot of uh, uh, requirements to it. Um, and I think it's just a question of if the market is happy right now in terms of asset pricing and sees good transactions in front of it that have a good source and use of funds, well underwritten, I think the market won't actually need some of the, the legacy TALF program. Well, thank you very much for your time. Well, thanks for having me. For more information on this and other REIT news and analysis, check out REIT.com.